Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Please follow me on Instagram at Box with G5 Jeff TV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. Now, Alexander Usyk was supposed to be fighting Tony Spong October 12, 2019. That's this Saturday. And of course, I put out a video stating the return of Alexander Usyk. And of course, today they said that Tony Spong had a positive drug test, which y'all know. He on, on the finest juices. And it's a record for how many people are getting positive drug tests at this point. And you know it's getting bad when the promoter got backup opponents on on standby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Eddie Hearn had backups. He's the promoter for the event. But Eddie Hearn had backups, like backup opponents for Alexander Usyk. So I don't know if he knew something or I, I don't know. I don't know. But for him to have backups prepared and ready to go, that's crazy. Like, that's absolutely crazy. But Tony Spong, he... Look like something out of a muscle man magazine. You know, muscles don't win fights. And you don't have to have PEDs in your system to have muscles. So I'm not saying that at all. But these athletes, they, they got to they gotta smarten up, man. Like, they got to smarten up. Like, if you know you taking VADA testing or basically any type of testing, period. Like, you won't get caught if you're not taking anything point blank and i know it's supplements and things out there like you can get your supplement checked to see if it's available or it's something that you can take like that's the thing to be cracking me up about about the people to be having a positive drug test like they be like oh well i took this i didn't know this was in my system like i'm like yo like whatever supplement you're taking is relatively new Go get the supplement checked out. Like, what is so hard about that? If you done fought six, seven fights straight over the past two years, three years, and you haven't had a positive drug test, but all of a sudden you take a new supplement, get the new supplement checked out. Like, well, come on, y'all. Like, come on. Like, I take a like I take a Vita test. It's gonna come out clean because I know I'm not on the finest juices. I know I'm not. And if I was an athlete, I'd be smart enough to know if something, if somebody offered me something new to take, I'm going to get it checked out first to see if it's approved. Then I'll take it. And if you got something going on where you need some type of medical exemption or anything like that, go about it the right way. Fill out the proper paperwork. Like, Vada and all of these other places, like they're giving you the proper steps to take. And it's just these athletes are just too dumb to follow them. Their teams is too dumb to follow them. Like, before I used to hear of a positive drug test, and I used to just go off. I used to just snap. I'd be like, yo, like, ban him for life. Ban him for life. He shouldn't step back into the ring ever again. And I was kind of like, Ugh. Mm. Another, another positive drug test. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. Who was it this time? Who was it? Oh, okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll throw his name in the hat with the rest of the people. Like, that's literally how I respond to positive drug tests now. Like, it's almost like VADA is announcing positive drug tests just to get their name smeared in the, me in the media temporarily. Like, because the max they're giving out is six-month uh, suspensions and... That's the wait time for a fighter in between fights at this day and age anyway. So it's really no punishment. But Tony Spong is the next name to have a positive drug test. And that means that he on, on the finest juices. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be more boxers to come. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.